what? The very thing that they're trying to prevent is the exact thing that they're causing. The government of Pakistan may be a stooge, but the people in Pakistan are rebellious. Isn't that right? And so they've already captured military bases. Right. That's right. The people, the people don't put up with that. So what are they going to have? You don't know how Pakistan have over 150 million people. And if any of you remember Korea, we was talking in the car, see? When the U.S. run over into Korea, some of the people of my age remember, I was a little kid, but I do remember what I used to hear on the news, even as a little kid. And the U.S. ran over there, and as they ran over there to crush Korea, right, the Chinese came in, right? So here now you have a, a setup the same way except it's not Korea, it is Afghanistan with a huge country next door like Pakistan. And the people, our Brother Muhammad can tell you, when we was in Pakistan uh, last year, I think, you could see that Taliban look. We went to one masjid, and I'm telling you, that Taliban look, and that's that blank look, but it's there. And I'm telling you, what we're saying, brothers and sisters, the very thing they want to prevent is happening. The people of Indonesia is signing up. The old U.S. right now today is in the Philippines, isn't that right? Trying to crush the Islamic movement. Don't let nobody tell you it's not a war. Oh, and they got our handkerchief-headed leaders. They say, oh, no, brother. There's so many that you can only talk for a while. Because we got, isn't that right? They done scared our leaders to death. They don't even want us to come. We are happy to be here tonight because you can't go hardly nowhere and talk about the truth. They scared, more scared of you than they is the Americans. They say, oh, yeah, here they come. They're going to talk that talk, and they're going to get the people mad at us. I said, look, man, if you don't know by now that they are mad at you, you need some psychological guidance. You need help, isn't that right? I'm trying to tell you, brothers and sisters, and I'm going to move toward a close. There's so many things we want to say, but in closing, this is a good meeting here. The new Black Panther Party, look, if you remember the old one, when everyone else was afraid, first it was deacons for defense, and then, that's right, I am a little older in this beard, then, then, the Black Panther Party for self-defense. Yes. Means you gotta defend yourself. They didn't scare the Muslims so much here in America, they don't even want to defend themselves. So I'm saying to you, anyone that stands up with backbone and courage, you should appreciate that. And this group right here has counterparts. It's so much I'd like to say. Our friends in South Africa, Paget, people against gangsters and drugs, they right there in Cape Town. They got the same attitude. They got the same charisma, the same background, the same motion. But they fighting the same struggle. Ignorance is all over the world. Brothers and sisters, in closing, we just ask you one more time. Remember that it's a war against Islam. And it's a war against all of the Muslims. We are all in this together, right? When we get Palestine back, it's not just for Palestinians, it's for us. Isn't that right? It's for all of us. Don't worry if you're just in the Southeast. Right? The revolution in the Islamic Republic was for everybody. Look what it did. Revive Lebanon. Lebanon used to be a shattered, fractured, fighting place, fighting each other, killing each other. Isn't that right? And now, last year, or was it, yeah, the Hezbollah, under the guidance of good leadership, ran the Zionist out. No treaty, no nothing. Isn't that right? Because Allah says in Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna Allaha yuhibbu ladina yukatiluna fi sabilihi safan ka'annahum bunyanun marsusun. And the people tell us, Jihad is not fighting. Oh no, it's a moral jihad. It's a spiritual jihad. It's an intellectual jihad. But Allah says that he loves those 
Yukati Luna who fight in his way. Isn't that right? right? Don't say don't fight. If somebody come jump on us like they are bombing Afghanistan, Afghanistan have been bombed for 20 years already. There's nothing to bomb but dirt. Why would a big bully with all of this scientific technology go over there and blow the people up again? Huh? Unless they were criminals, bloodthirsty, savages. We are civilized. We are Democrats. We're a, they don't like us because we have democracy. Isn't that ridiculous? They don't like us because they bombed my daughter, bombed my son, trying to get my natural gas, pumping my petroleum, right? Assassinating my leaders, right? Doing all of these crimes. That's why the world don't like America. Not because they are Democrat. They ain't never been for no democracy. You got any? All those people got democracy, raise their hands. Right? Everyone that have democracy. Right? Ask the people of El Salvador about La Matanza. That's the day they call it means to kill, to slaughter. That's the day that these U.S. inspired criminals slaughtered the people. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Ask the people of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Ask the people of uh, Colombia and the Panama, where they separated the country and stole the Panama Canal. Mm -hmm. Told them, you are now Panamanians and you are Colombians, and we are going to build a canal. Thank you very much. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. That's the way they want to do us. I don't want to be overbearing. It's an honor and a privilege to speak to you tonight, and we hope this organization grows and thrives, and we hope that Islam touches the heart of all of the believers. And any struggle that we launch, if we, struck, if we strike from an Islamic base, mm -hmm. it'll purify that struggle, and it'll take us all away. Akula Kali Hada, Allah.